In this video we are playing Find the Sushis. We're starting off in Spawn. We will be showing you the location of all the sushis in this game. I have ordered them by kind of location, which is why you'll see my numbers jumping up and down because it's just the order that I found them in the game. So this one you've got to find the real B. If you climb up, um, it's that B right there that you need to jump into. I have absolutely loved playing this game. It has easily kept me in growth for about 3-4 hours um, and my brain is literally hurting because uh, I've just finished it <laughs> because a few of these just completely boggled my mind. I've never been so relieved as I have when I've found some of these ones. So for this one it will help if you go into shift lock, um, but there is a small passage through into the cabin. This seems a bit of a weird place stuck on the kind of edge of the map. Um, and it only had something behind it. I don't know if it's something they're planning for an update. It was a bit peculiar. Excuse me while I hit that by accident. So you need to click on the heart. And that will jump you into the heart on the ceiling. Then you'll see kind of like a, a shield. Jump on that, it will take you through to shield sushi. Jump back on the swing because we're going to go for giant sushi. This is just how I got it. Um, the developer has said there's multiple ways of getting it. It took me quite a few attempts to get it this way, I'm not going to lie, um, but it was the way that worked for me. Just gotta fling yourself off at the right time um, and then you can land on the kind of ceiling of spawn. So we're moving around into the desert now and what I absolutely loved about this developer is that they put on how many sushis were in each biome and um, so that was really helpful when I was trying to figure out where I was missing the other ones. This is a sushi quiz, I don't eat sushi so yeah I did have to take a couple of stabs of these ones. sure this quiz would be easy peasy for a sushi connoisseur or if you eat it on a regular basis. I have been told not to eat it, hence why I don't eat it. Um, I did used to enjoy it. So we've got a game here where we've got to find seven rocks around desert to open up the crypt. So they do highlight yellow once you've found them. And for the biggest portion of the game, I thought Buried was underneath that mound. It was just a bit peculiar. <laughs> I was wrong. It's not there. <laughs> Don't look. Even got a funky maroon. 
garage in the desert. One thing for the developer for the update is move the buttons away from the corner. For a mobile user, I kept bumping into that menu stuff. It is super irritating when you're using an iPad to keep bumping into those buttons. Also, I would probably make this game a badge game. Obviously, it's fun to play. Um, but a lot of these find the games are badge games now, so something to consider for future. So you need to click on the triangle on the rock and that will teleport you to the final rock. Then we can open up the tunnel. And down we go. So again, people love a good maze. I don't like them. <laughs> uh, I get lost, but the developer has put on really handy hints of keep left and this will take us through to mate. So literally all I am doing is just walking to the left, not deviating, just going left, left, left. This is also the hint that Daddy Judge gives for mazes and to be fair it does work. And there we have it, we have maze. So Lost is also down in the maze, of course it's going to be in the maze being Lost. So this time instead of going left, I went the opposite and I went right, 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 right. And I was right. there is lost and it's actually behind a slight veiled wall I wasn't really looking when I ran into it so there's the veiled wall and you will never believe how close to the other one that one is so you can work back from the video um, if you go to the maze one so to get buried you'll just see a darker square on the wall literally hit it and you're teleported Moving round into the city now. So don't hit the black walls or else they'll oof you. You have to go on the conveyor belt to get the one on the end. You can't just be cheating and kind of run to the end. Jumping did help me get across it. And then underneath the conveyor belt, we have the last one in the factory. to jump in the bin. So with this part of the city, um, the helicopter went really, really buggy. Um, if it does happen to you and you keep dropping out of the helicopter, 
My only advice that I found was to keep jumping and eventually as soon as I was on top of the helicopter it stopped but the very first time I got in there it was fine. It was only when I went to try and go back that it started to get really buggy. So you need to make your way, if this happens to you, out of the helicopter onto the kind of the rotor blades at the end. And we can get the jetpack. But stay on the helicopter because see the platform there, you need to jump onto that and we can go and get glasses. I jumped down the first time and had to go back on the helicopter, which is when the bugs started happening and it wouldn't let me stay in the helicopter. So on the detective's computer, we have the Roblox uh, symbol. You need to go ahead and click that and we will get teleported through to Roblox. Roblox on Roblox. <laughs> For me personally, I wouldn't be advocating stalking or stalkers. Um, I would perhaps consider changing that to spy or something else. So putting on the 3D glasses brings out the 3D sushi behind it. What game isn't without sus these days? Teleport to the maze floor. Oh, and it's a Kilbrick maze as well. So I love mazes made even better by Kilbricks at the same time. came up saying you made the wrong choice. No, I didn't because I needed to collect it. <laughs> so we have the math problems here to solve the code. You don't need to bother. You can do it if you really want to, but I'm going to show you the code, what it is. So to get into the vault, you need to put in 3256. Um, it came up saying it was incorrect the first time, however I put it in again um, and it worked the second time. Moving round into the pink area. My daughter would absolutely love this area. She loves anything pink. She's the opposite to me. I hate pink. Um, I tend to like everything that's black or grey or <laughs> dark blue. <laughs> so we can just see some kind of invisible platforms. So inside the tree house, you will see a Rubik's Cube. What you need to do is not click it, you need to jump on it. And that teleports us through to Rubik's. I 
convinced they see this one really infuriates me when I figured out what it was. There is one candy cane up the wrong way, hence it being flipped. So yeah, that one you need to click on that candy cane. So drop on to the macaron or sweet in the chocolate river and then kind of walk off to the edge and that will teleport you into chocolate. Quite a lot of sushis in pink and kind of all located pretty much in this corner. There's a fair few of them. There is one sandwich out of the picnic basket. But, um, you need to click on that. And it's quite funny because we have a saying here when obviously you're being a bit cheated that you're one sandwich short of a picnic. <laughs> this is it in its literal form. So you can just jump up and over the block and get in there. So you can just see um, a cherry in the tree, you need to click the cherry and that will teleport you. It's just a very, very small square. Again, you just need to click on it. And lastly, these are a couple that don't have a buy on. So to get troll face, you need to type something into the chat box. No capital S though. And then in typical troll face style, um, it won't let you jump on the first platform. So you need to go ahead and jump straight onto the second platform. Don't step on the kind of walkway, jump straight over to get the troll. It does help to have a sprint on for that one. And for computer, click on the dollar sign and then just click randomly around in that blue space and you get teleported through to computer. And there we have it. If you've liked this video or our channel, please do support us and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.